Yo, what's up, my Mullet Sharp here, and I want to welcome you guys to the final episode of On the Black Ops 2. This is episode 4. Uh, and what I mean by final episode does not mean that I'm, I won't continue the series in the Black Ops 2. I do want to continue doing this in the Black Ops 2. Kind of maybe if uh, the league play is a competitive type thing, I will try to take this into uh, the league play area and, and do live commentaries as I'm playing in competition modes and all that stuff. But... Yeah, Black Ops 2, man, comes out, what is, today's November 1st, it comes out in 13 days, I need to switch my monitor over, I was muting my Skype so you guys couldn't hear it going off, because that's what happens in live commentaries, but Black Ops 2 comes out November 13th, for some of you guys who might be able to get the game early, might come out a little bit earlier for you guys, but, uh, and apparently I have a heart reticle on this, the Moss, because I'm just that pimp, but uh, I wanted to thank you guys for my, my 20k video. Uh, that I uploaded, and it's ridiculous that every time I go to it, um, there there are more likes adding up on it, and uh, the video has over a thousand likes, which is is crazy to me. Uh, and I, I just I wish all my videos got that many likes. Like I was like looking, I was like, damn, holy shit! I was like, you know, I usually average like 250 likes a video. I was like, where the hell did all these people come from? But uh, yeah, I was really, I read all the comments. I, I'm still reading them for those of you guys that are. Still putting them in there, and uh, I'm interested to see where, where you know where you guys came from. A lot of you guys said that you came over from my 1v1 series. A lot of you guys said you started subbing to me when I started doing 2v2. Uh, the 2v2s with Moho, and then a lot of you guys said Wicked Shrapnel. Some of you guys said Drifter. Um, I, my live S and Ds I did with Marksman, and just just various people. Uh, so yes, thank you, all you guys came to my channel, uh, and all the people that have helped me throughout the. Throughout the two years that I've been doing YouTube, um, just a big shout out to them. And let's hope that when this Black Ops 2 thing hits, we can turn the shit into something. And someone someone also had a question. I did mention in the video that you know I had been doing two two videos a day, if you guys remember. And then sometimes I do three videos a day. Uh, and, and what I meant, why I quit doing those, is someone, someone thought that I said, I, I guess took it the way that, you know, I'm not getting as many subscribers as I should be getting. It's not that. It's it's the subscribers that I already have aren't seeing all my videos. It's not that I'm not getting as many subscribers. I mean, it usually says that. Usually you get more. The more videos you post a day, uh, the more the more subs you'll get, I've noticed. Uh, but the subscribers that I already had were telling me that, you know, oh, you put two videos up today? I didn't see your first one. I only saw the last one. Uh, and that is because YouTube is really retarded. And I actually talked to someone today who said that, you know, they had been subbed to me for over a year, and they've been watching all my videos. And then, but then, then he's like, "You haven't posted in like three weeks." I was like, "What are you talking about, dude? I post a video every day." Uh, and yeah, so apparently, uh, YouTube has not been seeing my videos, and I really just wish they would just get the whole subscriber box and all that stuff settled, and it would uh, really, really be amazing. But you know, that's never gonna happen because technology. So I'm gonna hop on see with my teammate here. Notice that there was no one up top in this area. They should have been spawning in that other room, but it looks like they spawned someone, so they're probably going to be going A. You want to make sure that you're holding C and B on this map. Uh, I know that <laughs> these tips might not really matter to a lot of you guys, but on this map, you want to be holding C and B, and I wish my teammates would have helped us get on that flag, because we probably should have. Probably could have been able to get it. I'm actually going to swap up to an SMG here, try to get more mobile and run around. But like I said, you know, this series, going to Black Ops 2, I think it'll help you guys a lot. It'll help you guys with competitive. Uh, anyone who's trying to play the the, the, the competition, and whatever the competition plays, I don't even know if League Play will be like a competition playlist. Because, like I said, I haven't really read up on any of it. Oh, this guy's going to try to mullet me, but he's not. So I haven't really read up on any of it, so I hardly know anything about it. I guess I'll have to find out when the game comes out. And so if it is like that, I will definitely, you know, do this series to help you guys. You know, I will tell you guys in nomination, you know, what flags you need to be holding. What's the good side? What's the bad side? Nate spots. I'll be, or actually, I probably won't do it in this series, but I'll do you. I will be doing a Nate spots series. I will be doing call outs, uh, all that stuff. Taking in consideration all the stuff you guys want to see. Uh, and, and that's what the comments give me. You guys, you guys give me comments. It gives me, it tells me what you guys want to see. And that's what I'm going to upload, what you guys want to watch. Uh, I'll probably do some, I know a lot of you guys might not be on my channel for zombies, but if you know me, Ego, and Optic Big Timer, we like to hit up the zombies and go ham on that. Pretty beast zombie players, so 
if there are any zombie tournaments or anything like that, you know, you might catch some of that on my channel. If you don't like it, then you can just move on to another video on my channel. Not move on to another video. And, you know, why would you want to not watch a sharp video? But, yeah, zombies, you guys might catch some of Not a lot of zombies. I'm not going to turn in, like, Syndicate or any of them dudes. But I do like to upload zombies and do, you know, if there's Easter eggs, I do the steps on how to do the Easter eggs. Uh, I, I think that's a lot of fun, and I like zombies. And, yeah, that guy just drops. I need to bring the FAMAS out. I really, really hope in this Black Ops 2 is not 4v4 FAMAS. I need some variety, man. I need some change. You know, going to the MLG events, if there were no MLG events for Black Ops, then the game would have been sought as worse than MW3, I think. The reason why so many people hate MW3 uh, in, in the competitive scene is because there's no there's no LAN. Like, it's just, why is this not in your game? When you're, it's MW3, Call of Duty's been out since Call of Duty 2. Uh, and they've they've had a land. I don't understand why they just haven't had land lobbies that have worked. Is what you know. A lot of the pro players don't understand. So really, MW3 to me wasn't even that bad of a game. I like the variety. You know, you had ACRs, you had PP9s, you had MP7s. It was definitely a lot more than in this game where it's just four on four for Moss. And where people can say that it makes it more like Halo. It makes it more competitive. Because, uh, you know, it's whoever's the best at that gun, is this game is not Halo. You have, you, you first of all, you die in, you know, three to two shots, four shots, whatever. Uh, and you have to have people who run objective. And, and objective runners need to be able to move fast. I just murdered my teammate. But objective runners need to be able to move fast. You use uh, very mobile weapons, you know, be able to hip fire and stuff like that. And that's where the SMGs come in. But when you're having people, alright, I guess that guy was mad. I killed him or something. <laughs> but, um, and then w when you're using, f like, you have FAMAS and you're trying to run objective, it just makes it too easy for the people slaying. Like, you're going for flags and you, and you have to run with a FAMAS. It's just, I think it makes it too, too easy for people slaying. Uh, it doesn't add diversity. It makes the game really boring to watch. Uh, some things that I'm hoping for MLG. SND, I'm hoping SND is, uh, they bring it back to the minute 30 rule and it goes to six rounds. Uh, domination. I'm hoping that they actually domination. I really, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping they have another game type besides CTF and domination. Because honestly, if you ever went to an event, first of all, the crowd is dead there. Uh, what they need is they need soundproof booths like StarCraft, so you can hear the commentators, you can hear game sound because there's no game sound. Uh, so people in the crowd are just sitting there looking at the screen with no sound, no commentating. So if you've never been to an event, you've never played Black Ops, and you don't understand competitive, how are you ever going to learn? Because you're just looking at a screen, not knowing anything. Uh, so they definitely need soundproof booths at the events. What I'm talking about in the game, they need another game type, I think, besides besides CTF, DOM, S&D. Because me personally, I think S&D is the best viewership game type, and that's just because what do you have? You have clutches. You have, you know... Fast-paced rounds. If it is one minute and thirty seconds, you have fast-paced rounds. You have good across-map gunfights. Uh, it's not like domination where people are camping in corners waiting to throw nades, uh, or where teams get up by five flags and you're like, "Well, this team's not coming back. What's the point of watching the next five minutes of this game?" Uh, I think S and D. You know, a team can be down 0-3 and come back and win. I mean, it's it just it, it's the best thing for the viewer. And I'm not saying I'm not suggesting that it needs to be all S and D. I'm just saying they need another game type to throw in there, uh, so it's just not so 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 bad and i think that you know they did make black ops 2 with more competitive on the side and i think the maps will be more competitive so it won't be you know how in black ops 1 there was only two domination maps if summit and and firing range those are the only dom maps because they weren't really thinking about you know oh we're, we're, this is going to be a competitive map uh, so i think they'll have a lot more dom maps there will be more maps in the rotation it'll be a lot more interesting and i'm really hoping that mlg does pick up the game if it doesn't then you know there'll all be there'll be different events around like UMG, EGL, uh, NJ Halos, all this stuff. But I'm really hoping MLG, the major the major events, pick it up, and uh, we can we can go back to events because th those are really fun to go to. Uh, I know I always say this, but if you guys have stayed this long in the video, I know I just kind of rambled there in the lobby. If you guys have stayed this long, uh, just leave a comment saying mullet. So let me know. Uh, and while you are leaving that comment, don't 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 forget to click the like button. Let's try to get a thousand likes on this video, maybe. <laughs> um, but if you guys aren't subscribed yet, then hit the subscribe button. As always, it's your boy Sharp. I'm out. Peace. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys want to check out my previous video where I thank you guys for my 20,000 subs, top left corner, a little gameplay, search and destroy on hardhead. If you guys want to check out a random video, top right corner, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and be sure to follow me on Twitter at Fear Sharp. This is your boy Sharp. I'm out. Peace.